everybody, it's Everyday Nerdy here and today I'll be doing things a bit differently. I'm going to show how I find my image, the thought process of things that I'm thinking about when I'm looking for an image, for when I'm doing like the math stuff. I, saw, I have seen multiple comments and questions offline where people go like, hey, where do you find these images? Hey, how do you scale it so it makes sense? And so I'm gonna go about that process. Okay, so, whew, buns out so it's serious. Here we go. Okay, yeah, Safari pulls up. Um, let's do man. Oh, my typing is slow. Mandalorian, and I can't type at all. Helmet. Sometimes I'll put cosplay on there, and so let's look at images. Okay, so this one here, even though this looks like a really great image, they don't have a regular profile look. Um, so let's look at another one hmm this one looks promising let's see okay uh let's click it okay ah silly me it's the same company that i just referenced before oh but they have a here look they got a profile okay so this one would work so let's do it let's do <coughs> sorry save image as um mando side save it replace whatever i have that's from my first attempt of this video and it didn't come out good save image as for the front one mando front replace from the previous video that i failed and swipe so here we are in um uh, uh fusion so we click insert insert from my computer Let's do Mando front. We hit open, we click Mando, Mando's there. And we hit okay. All right, now we're gonna go on the right side, insert, insert from my computer, Mando side. And then I click this and then I hit okay for now. And then I, oh, I just realized, uh, shouldn't hit okay. Go back, edit the feature um so to do that i had to right click in the timeline when you right click it, you get that menu option and let's go and do uh ooh, wrong thing i think it'd be a i did the wrong because this is the back so yeah let me i wonder if i can just from here change the... i don't think i can i was thinking if i can change yeah the face here so let's go Oh, well, I did this one wrong completely also. Okay, all right, so we'll start. <laughs> we'll start from this one here, and we're going to change the face I have it located because even though it technically doesn't, I don't know, to me, I like to have them always in the correct spot because it makes it visually for me to easier to keep track of. Let's do, I always get my horizontals and my verticals mixed up. Um, hold on, a 90 degree turn. Uh, yeah, let's start scratch. All right, so we go into Fusion and we're going to insert the Mandos that I just saved. So let's do Mando front, we hit open, we click this, and we insert our Mando. Our Mando's right there, front, front. You gotta make sure. Now we do right or left, we hit insert, insert from my computer, side, hit open, select canvas, and um, for now this is hit OK, and let's look at this at an angle. So if I zoom in, they don't, they don't look accurate, because, so this is where I do a lot of guesstimating and sometimes it doesn't line up correctly, but I assume this tippy top here needs to be aligned with this tippy top right there. So for me to do that, uh, make right click, hit edit feature, and then just push it up a bit. Okay, that's too high. Let me zoom in, zoom in. Uh, I think right there, because it looks like probably the highest point would be there. But then you gotta make sure the, see this bottom doesn't match up. So sometimes you have to be like, is this right? Is it wrong? 
you do some guesstimations. And if you feel like, oh no, this side needs to be a bit bigger, I'll just then scale it a little bit. That might have been too much scaling right there. Um, ooh, let me do an angle. But the key is to always have it at an angle. And you want to have, see, I scaled it too much. So let's go bring that down. Um, maybe even more down. I think one might have been. Yeah, one looks like it was point, 1.01. 1. Um, and that looks like it is better. But then that's where I'm like, mm, is this really the tippy top? I don't know. This looks a bit more straight. Let me at least have the bottom straight. And voila. Oh, no. Because <laughs> it's far right. Um, so you could do this, like what I'm doing right now. And then I'm gonna hit OK. And then I'll be like, oh, this is pretty good. And I'll probably start modeling and doing things. So that's how I adjust my models. My most important thing is to always say, have it like this at an angle. So you can see both of the images line up. Sometimes it's not this easy. Usually um, Amazon, when they have like a mask there, they usually have all the views of the mask. And so it'll be like a kid's mask. Oh, let's say Captain America, which is where I got the Captain America one. I'll go, okay, cool, let me take this image. Um, yeah, usually sites that sell like kid things are pretty good. I just use it as reference and I'll scale it larger for, you know, a size of a head that isn't a child's head. Um, so let's we'll see what else. Another way to do it, which this one I had to do for the Vanderhawk, that had to be very accurate when it came to that one. Let me see if I rem remember. I'm doing this one on the fly. Um, you can calibrate an image. And I, I'm struggling to remember how you calibrate an image right now. Uh, so 2,000 years later. Forgot. I don't know why I forgot. So you have to open this here in the canvas, and you can right-click on any of them. You hit calibrate. And when you do calibrate, let's you can click here and then click here. And let's say I want that actually, ah, I shouldn't have done those clicks, but let's just use that as an example. Let's say it wants it to be a hundred millimeters. Wow, see, that's very big. Okay, now let's do the other Mando side. Boop. And let's zoom in here, zoom, zoom. And we go here, we hit edit canvas. Oh, no. Don't hit. Well, you can hit edit canvas, but we're going to hit calibrate, right click, hit calibrate. And then I'm going to go zoom, 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 click here. And then here, see this is where you could actually just draw a line in the sketch. So I would have something straight here. So I would know, okay, so this part reaches here exactly. So um, I'm not doing that. I'm a bit of a time constraint right now, <laughs> trying to get this done um and 100 millimeters and boom so and let's see if that guesstimation that i did is somewhat close oh one second yeah mm, this is a bit off but that's another way to calibrate some to, not calibrate well yeah you can say calibrate to have the images lined up so you can either do the calibrate way or you can, you know, scale it. The calibrate way is good when you have to take an image and sometimes the scaling gets messed up. For example, the um, the visor gauge thing that I made, I had to trace it and once I traced it, I would calibrate the circles of the exact size of the holes for those gauges were. So, some neat tricks in Fusion, all right? So that's it for today. Bye, y'all.